A story not so much about what is, but what was, and how one of America's most significant events played out here long before this was a plush Ohio Lake Erie community. High end living with a playground edge, but generations ago, it was far from that. They wanted a prison far enough north and isolated to put Confederate prisoners. Ohioans in the Union went to war, and the Civil War came to Ohio in an unusual way in the middle of Lake Erie. It was here on Johnson's Island, three miles off the Sandusky shoreline, that the United States built a prison for captured Confederate soldiers during the 1860s in America's Civil War. Johnson's Island Preservation Society's Don Young knows the story. The prison stockade or enclosure, now there was about 15 acres enclosed by a 12-foot high fence. Johnson's is a small Ohio island within sight of Sandusky and Cedar Point. For more than three years in the 1860s, 9,000 Confederate soldier prisoners of war were kept here. Those who died in prison never left. Rapid disease that was running around and killing most of these uh, prisoners. Not Some of the graves are marked unknown. The first grave markers were wood, bearing a soldier's name. But when wood rotted away, names were lost to history. Names still readable were later transferred to stone. 206 graves, each of a Confederate soldier captured by the Union. What is so surprising for me is I grew up in Ohio and I did not know this was here until fairly recently. And Leon, you're not the only one. I have people in Sandusky that don't even know it's here. But some are aware crossing a causeway from the Ohio mainland to tiny Johnson's Island. This piece of Ohio marks a major turning point in American history. Darkest and, and brightest because there's so much that is important about the way we live now that came out of that war. There were three Confederate executions in the prison camp right here. Confederate spies. Between 600,000 and 750,000 Americans on both sides of the war died in that conflict. These are bullets which were fired inside the prison stockade here. Bullets found more than 100 years later. When the war ended in 1865, the prison camp closed. Confederate soldiers returned home. In the 1910s, a resort was built where the prison stood, but the resort later burned to the ground. In recent years, developers moved in with expensive homes on Johnson's. Extremely high end, and especially the new houses coming in now are very, very high end. It is a strange feeling for me to be in a Confederate cemetery, but this too is American history. This was the northernmost prison camp in the Civil War. 206 men buried here in a war when Americans fought Americans. An almost forgotten Civil War prison camp on an Ohio Lake Erie Island. Photographs show Confederate POW life. Johnson's Island, once home to Confederate prisoners, and still site of a cemetery for the final resting places of the imprisoned Confederate soldiers who died in the camp and never returned home from the time America warred with itself.